guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jane. So the topic of our today's video is the Femgeline UV Compact Mirror. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about the functionalities, the things that I think you should consider uh, when buying it or should you buy it or not. And also we're going to put it to the test. We're going to do the um, uh, test with different types of sunscreens, with mineral sunscreen and chemical sunscreen. And then we're going to put our face into water to see how it also works with, let's say, water-resistant sunscreens and how does the camera captures it. And also I'm going to show you how does it look with sunscreens plus makeup on top. So we have a tight agenda today, so let's get started. I bought my mirror on the Amazon um, and this is how it came in, so in this kind of box. So here's the place for the mirror and of course the mirror is here and it also comes with the uh, charging cord, so um, yes, and then with some instructions and also they have this little, um, let's say, cloth to, you know, clean the mirror as well and also it has the uh, card the UV test card, which basically says uh, that keep your family safe from sunburn and skin damage with our UV look. So, you know, that's also the reason why I got this uh, mirror in general. I wanted to see where are the areas uh, of uh, on my face are that I'm missing when I'm applying the sunscreen or how good that I am in applying the sunscreen. There were different, let's say, options out there, but you know, after evaluating all the options and seeing the reviews, I kind of came up uh, with conclusion to buy this one because it had the best reviews and the most people, you know, look into it. Uh, so yeah, and this is, um, let's say, the review after using this um, mirror for some time now. So let's look how it looks inside. It's a magnifying mirror and it also has the UV camera. You can switch it on, uh, let's say here, uh, the light, you can switch on by just clicking on it. And you can adjust the light brightness as well uh, by clicking uh, again once, like a short click. And then, uh, so there are three different brightness levels. And to switch on the UV camera, we need to turn it like this and then you hold. This is when the UV camera is on. It's quite convenient, I would say. Um, the battery life is, um, let's say, quite long. I mean, I saw some complaints from other people saying that the battery life is very limited. Uh, but for me, I didn't have any problems. It came in, it was already kind of charged, so I, I, I was able to use it immediately. So I just opened it and I switched it on and it worked. And it was working for maybe like an hour or two, and then I had to charge it. And for the charging, it didn't take much time either. And of course, I will put all the links uh, in the description video down below. So I will put separately, I think, from US and for the other countries. So please feel free to check it out and find the links there. One thing that I noticed, it's in the general comment about this uh, mirror, is that it works better, it's, it's uh, more sinable when you're inside, so when you actually look in yourself when you're outside under the sunlight, then it's a bit maybe too dark, the UV camera is a bit hard to see, you know, where you need to reapply. But, you know, in the shadow it kind of works too, so I'm pretty sure we can always find a way to use it. It's not sponsored video, so I bought this camera with my own money and it's an honest review after using it it uh, for some time. So let's get started with our sunscreen application and uh, I'm gonna show you which sunscreens I'm gonna be using. So for the left side of my face I'm gonna be using the chemical sunscreen and for the right side of my face I'm gonna use the mineral sunscreens and uh, I'm using the uh, hyaluronic acid watery sun gel that's Japanese sunscreen and I'm using here the Aven uh, very high protection mineral fluids. So what are the differences between these two main types of sunscreens? I mean chemical sunscreen and mineral sunscreen. The chemical sunscreen it doesn't have a white cast, so it's really suitable for all skin tones and all skin colors. Uh, but it could be a bit irritating because it has chemical filters in it. But, you know, of course there are some sunscreens out there on the market with the new filters, the chemical filters, which are really good uh, for the sensitive skin as well. And the mineral sunscreen is, let's say, the opposite. They use zinc and a titanium dioxide filters, so it leaves the white cast. So it does not really always suit, let's say, darker skin tones, so something to be mindful of. Uh, but if 
is very gentle on the skin so it does not irritate your skin as much as a chemical sunscreen sunscreen does so i'm going to be applying the chemical sunscreen on my left side and the mineral sunscreen on my right side so yes and you will see now the difference because there is a difference in color between the both sunscreens when when they're applied so let's start with the chemical one and i'll put let's say one part here as you can see you see the sunscreen immediately blocks the uh, sunlight and sun rays so this is how it looks when applied to the skin in the uv camera and this is the chemical sunscreen so let's try now with the mineral sunscreen just give me a minute with all the mineral sunscreens make sure to shake it before applying because it is uh, a bit different let's say filters there so you need to make sure that you have a good mix before that and I'm using a different finger so not to mix uh, sunscreens here so and now we now apply the mineral sunscreen on our face here you see I applied very like generous uh, thick layer and this is let's say the first thing that I see as different between the chemical and mineral sunscreens is that the chemical one is much darker uh, looking on the face than the mineral sunscreen you can see it's like really black here it's like in, in a sense gray on this side I also read some information and it says that the darker it is it doesn't mean that the coverage is better in a sense you just need to make sure that your whole face is covered let's say without any uh, empty skin left out I'll go ahead and apply both sunscreen for the rest of the face and uh, I'll see you there in a minute. So this is, let's say, half of the face with the chemical sunscreen. This is how it looks. Let's proceed to the mineral one. So here, as you can see, I finished the application of both sunscreen on the face. So this is, let's say, the difference where the chemical and the mineral sunscreens meet. So you can see that the mineral sunscreen, you can see that this is already good. Like I applied it as uh, thoroughly as I thought I could to apply. And I already can see that, okay, here are the spots that I missed. And this is already a plus of this camera. So like when you apply your sunscreen, and even though you think that you applied properly, you can always find some spots that you missed. So I'll let it dry now for some minutes. And then we're going to do the water test. So we're going to put our face into the water and see how both uh, sunscreen look after that. <laughs> so I'm back after my dip into the water <laughs> uh, so as you can see we have um, um, both sunscreens here and I mean I again remind you that this one isn't actually water resistant uh, but this one seems to be the mineral ones it says to be very water resistant so and I mean you can clearly see that we have some uh, spaces here that are let's say already without uh, good coverage it kind of is a bit better here you can see that we don't have that many spots but you can see that on the, on the forehead as well there are some spots here as well so even though it's a water resistant sunscreen we can see we can still see that the water took some spots out as well so maybe uh, that's something to remember here that whenever you swim or exercise or you have a lot of contact with water make sure to reapply your sunscreen no matter if it's water resistant or not so i finished applying my makeup for my full face i struggled a little bit so this is the side with the chemical sunscreen and this is the mineral sunscreen side so this was the white side uh, that you can see like a lot of white cast so I did struggle a bit to even it up let's say with my makeup but I think I did a, an okay job on the UV camera you can see that there is no big difference anymore so under the makeup we don't see a lot of let's say that the chemical sunscreen is much darker than the mineral one as it used to be without the makeup so I mean probably the conclusion I could make here is that 
when we cover, let's say, our Sanskrit with the makeup, we put one more layer of our foundation, so it kind of evens up the tone. As a recommendation, of course, since we are putting the makeup on top, also don't forget to reapply your sunscreen. And in my video, I'm using this one, the by Shiseido, the Clear Sun Care Stick. Uh, every two hours if you have makeup to make sure that your face is always protected. So this is it for my video today and just final words in conclusion if I recommend this or not. Um, is it a must-have in let's say your day-to-day -day life? No, I don't think so. But it's good to have if you are as let's say invested in sunscreens game as I am because if you want to see if you miss let's say some spots or when you need to reapply your sunscreen then it's a, a very handy tool to have uh, again I said please see the links down below for the Amazon when I bought it there was also a coupon and I think it's still uh, available for like $30 off it's quite pricey I would say but um, Having this $30 off was a plus and also for me, I actually really enjoy this because I really like to see, you know, if I did a proper job applying sunscreen. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to invest into this or if you, if you feel like you are good in how you're applying sunscreen overall and you feel like you're doing it properly, uh, then, you know, it's, it's of course uh, up to you. Probably main, let's say, conclusion from the whole video is uh, make sure to be diligent with application of your sunscreen uh, and uh, make sure that you're covering all the areas. And of course, if you're enjoying, let's say, double checking it and uh, making sure that, uh, let's say, your face is fully protected and you didn't miss any areas, then the Fetchelin uh, UV compact camera here is definitely for you. I hope my video was helpful for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I see you next week. Bye bye.